<clears throat> hey. Hey, everybody. Uh, so, here we are playing Gauntlet Legends again. And let's just hop into this. So this is going to be me trying to finish that one level. It was... Oh, dear. What level was it? Um... Sorry, it it was the cemetery level. No, it wasn't the cemetery level. It was no, it was the cemetery level, where I couldn't finish the the freaking level because I would get the obelisk, and uh, the game would freeze like it was broken. So we are going to try this again. Oh, really, really. I just... I didn't wait until the BFG was ready. Excuse me, I gotta turn down my volume here. Alright. And I, I really apologize for the volume mix that's been in the last few videos. Well, not the last few videos. Just like, as I've been adjusting for the Nintendo 64. Uh, because I would really like to do a new series uh, going through other N64 games. So this is, I mean, I'm really I'm really liking this game. Like it's, it's a classic for sure. But I would like to do some other games, but I wanna make sure that the sound mix is good, which apparently is something I've been struggling with. And this game might be a really bad example of it because the mix on this game alone is kind of by default, not that great. I'm learning like, uh, like, some of the sounds are just, like, really loud. Uh, and it just, it just doesn't sound all that awesome, but whatever. I mean, teach his own, I guess. And, oh my goodness, this game is getting slow. What's going on? Alright, here we go. Oh, there's a gate there. Sorry. And... All right, that was the right one. Cool. Uh, also, oh, also, I'm trying to. Well, not trying. I would like to get another TV, because uh, the TV that I'm using now, like the picture is so bad, and the colors are just horrendous that it's really hard for me to see what all is going on here. Like it really is. You you don't even know how bad my TV is. Like, I mean, I can't, I know I mentioned this in another video, I can't tell the difference between a red barrel and a, a regular brown barrel. Like, on my TV, it doesn't work. And I've tried adjusting the colors, like the color temperature, and the, the uh, contrast, sharpness, color, I mean, all that. It just, it just will not do it. Some TVs are just bad TVs. Some are just bad. I mean, there's nothing you can do about that. So, I'm tr where's the switch for this one? Have I lost it? What's going on? Where is it? Like, I can't, I can't find it anywhere. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh, wait, wait, I did something. What'd I do? Uh, what did I do? Uh, nothing, apparently. Come on. Also, I do remember I'm trying to get my health back up because health is freaking expensive. My goodness, does this game punish you for losing health? Like, you can't, you just can't get it back. Uh, alright, looks like I'm not getting that, uh, looks like I'm not pulling this one up. So whatever's down there, if anything's down there, I'm not getting it. All right, you're just doing karate for no reason. Cool, whatever. Yeah, yeah, I just stand there and get pummeled. You know, no, no big deal. 
It's not like you're. Oh my goodness. Oh, that was a good one. You want to go? You want to go? I'm invincible, suckers. You got nothing on me. Also, I need the. Can I get a different camera angle? There we go. That's what I want. And there we go. So I'm going to try something new on this level when we get to the end, because it has been a problem. Excuse me. Yes, I do know that I cut myself off, uh, because I have been having an issue of the game freezing when... I get the obelisk and then I head to the end of the level and it just stops. Like, the game just stops working and I have to completely reset it. Uh, that's a really big issue. Because that means if that's going to be what it is, then I won't be able to finish the game. Because I need those obelisks to unlock the different worlds. It's really annoying. Also, if you're watching this video and you're finding that the sound mix is too heavy on, on one end, like if the mic's too loud or if the game's too loud, please let me know. Because um, I'm having a real difficult time balancing that for some reason. Part of it is because I can't actually hear the mix while I'm recording. Like, that's a problem. So... <sighs> and now we get to that part of the level where I just wait for my BFG to charge and then I launch it whenever I feel ready. BFG. Oh, that was a good one. I done hit two generators on that one. That was pretty good. You know, my max health is probably like... It's probably like four times the amount of my health right now. Like, that's like how messed up my health is. Whoa. Oh, why did I get that chest? I already knew that. Hmm. Should have seen that one coming. I must find a switch. But that has the rune stone in it, and I don't really need it. Green Archer has stopped time. I love that. Okay. I've already got the Phoenix, don't I? Yeah, kind of. Yeah. 
So I think every time you pick, you pick up a Phoenix, it gives you 40 on the timer. Which means I can get down to 80 on this. Before I can get a new one. Alright. So I'm going to go back and get the Phoenix. Yeah, just, just run right over the traps. You know, no worries. It's not like that'll damage your health at all. Yeah, like that. You know, don't be a stupid... Oh, come on! <sighs> these traps. I freaking hate these traps. You just... You can't see them coming until it's too late. Hmm, something opened. I don't know what it was. Alright, so there's the obelisk back there. And I'm not gonna get it right now. I'm going to wait. I'm gonna wait till I get to the end of the level. Then I'm gonna run back, get it, and then finish the game. Or finish the level, I mean. That's my idea. I don't know if it'll work, but that's my idea. What are all these, like, hobos doing out here? <laughs> Set them up like dominoes, I'll knock them down. Aw, uh, yeah. What level am I? 42. I'm level 42. <laughs> oh, this guy's a chump. Chump. So what happens if uh, you don't have a key to open that? I guess you just start the level over, wouldn't you? Yep. Makes sense. Oh, I can do this all day. All right, so this is about the place where it froze last time. So what I'm gonna do, here we go. So that's the end of the that's the end of the level. So I'm gonna go back, gonna get the obelisk, and then I'm gonna come back to the end of the level. And hopefully, by doing that, maybe it won't glitch out, and I'll be able to actually finish this thing and get on with the rest of the game. That's my thinking. Uh, whether or not it'll actually happen, we will see. If it does happen, then honestly, I, I don't know what to do. Then I guess I won't be able to finish this game because... I mean, I, I need the obelisk to... Ah, this release has defeated Scorn's lock on the Ice Dominion. Uh, see, there you go. So I needed it in order to get to the next world, or realm, whatever. Uh, so I need the obelisk, but if, if getting the obelisk in this level is going to glitch the game out, then what am I supposed to do? Like, I can't finish the game. Clearly. Alright, so here we go. 
Here we go. This is about where it freezes. It didn't freeze! Yes! I am so smart. So, so smart. Good job. Good job, Ben. Pat on the back for that one. Yeah, good job. A bloodstained tundra must be crossed to get the fourth shard from my window. Buried deep in the icy mountain is a magical green meteor coveted for its explosive powers. The dwarven engineers who mined this meteor are now mutants under Scorn's power. Start at the landing docks. Loading docks, where ice grunts bring the explosive barrels for transport. Use the network of steam pipes and minecart tracks to get up and into the mountain's interior where the meteor lies. Its heat waves are melting the snow, causing geysers of steam everywhere. So avoid the steam vents. Thank you. Shop time. Time to buy all the health and sell all the other stuff. That's basically how it works. Uh-huh. Levitate doesn't do jack. At least not that I know. Mm hmm I'll keep the Phoenix, because Phoenix is awesome. My goodness. I gained like a thousand health, and I still got more to go. Like, what is... Can I tell what my max health is? Yeah, there it is. 4,395. That is my max health. I'm at 2,400. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. All right, next level, finally, here we go. The Spire. You are now entering the Venom Spire. Wait, I, I did this level before, didn't I? Yeah, I did. But I didn't complete it. For some reason. I don't remember why. Did the game freeze? I don't know. Maybe I just didn't complete it right. Like, I don't know. Alright, so there's a note up there. I'm gonna go read it. <clears throat> the old storage room can only be entered from outside the courtyard. Okay. That's good to know, I guess. I don't know. Is that good to know? Does it help me? Not really. Not that I know of, anyways. Throwing bombs? Screw you. Stop throwing bombs. Stop it. Stop. Frick. I hate those guys. I like how a little bird on my shoulder just kind of shoots wherever he wants to. Doesn't really follow directions that well. I mean, look at that. Like, I was aiming in the same direction, and I was like, you know what, I'm gonna go this way. And I'm like, you know what? You're a jerk. I want you to... I want you to follow my orders. Oh, that looked cool. Need a key. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. There's a lot of people in there. Apparently I shot magic. Didn't mean to do that. There's 
So this is what I call XP farming. Uh, where you just kill things over and over again just for the experience. Here, let's look. Let's see how much experience we're getting here. Here we go. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. That's how much experience I'm getting. I'm like paranoid now. That's why I'm shooting my arrows all over the place. It's like, I don't know what's gonna get me. Like, I really have no clue. I'll be back for that. Actually, no. I need to. I need to go this way. Oh, exploit! Exploit! Here we go. I can get him from here. <laughs> Look how that guy was stabbing me. Just like, eh, 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 eh. Really? Really? I came all this way just for a note. Something is hidden at the start of the twisty climb. Really? That's the secret? Something hidden. Gotta watch out. At the start of the twisty climb. That's around here, right? So where is it? Oh, it's right here. Right? It's a weak spot. Oh, I guess that's not the twisting climb. It was just a ramp. It was a climb, but not a twisty one. I, th I think that's what the game was telling me. Oh, here we go. Yeah, I'll just do this. Why not? In your face. Peasants. Like John Cena. You can't see me. You can't see me. That's the uh, invisibility thing. Anyways. Right, so where am I supposed to go? What? I'm supposed to go this way? I can't. Oh. Oh, I see. There's a ramp here. Alright, maybe a little overkill with the BFG, but... <sighs> I hate how the camera moves at, like, the worst times. Which is pretty much any time, really, when you think about it. I mean, it just gives me a headache. Ugh. Freaking for real. I mean, come on. The nearby gate must be open from elsewhere. Okay. That's helpful. I guess. I don't know. And the BFG flew off into the horizon. 
<laughs> oh, took out that maggot, didn't I? Yes, I did. I don't think I opened the gate, did I? I don't know. Oh my goodness. Get the barrel! There we go. The mound of stone in the courtyard covers the switch you need. Okay. This is the courtyard, right? I think. Oh, the gate opened. There we go. Having trouble finding that mound of stone. Remember when I was younger and I first played this game, I thought that this, like, was my arm? Like, that was glowing? Just like, yeah, I got a big arm. Yeah, that's right. That's right. That's what I thought when I was younger. In days of yore, in yesteryear. All right, so where's that mm, switch? I need a switch in a courtyard. Where's the courtyard? Where's, oh, seriously. Gotta be hitting all them traps, huh? Yeah. So, all right, I guess it's not that way. So I was drinking water. Tasted really good, by the way. Such good water. Huh. Apparently, I got the switch, wherever it was. Oh, are you serious? It just shot, like, down. It didn't even shoot across. Lame. Like, what am I supposed to do now? Goodness. What are you? What are you aiming at? What are you? What are you aiming at? Just. What are you? The the enemies are right in front of you. You're just not hitting them. Being a little moron. I I don't know what is going on. Oh. Yeah. Finally. Okay. Finally, we got a good one. Here we go. All right. Uh, any day now. Come on, we can do this. Alright, this arrow guy. You know, I'm just I'm just dealing with you right now. Oh, I hate death. I hate death so much. You, you don't even know how much I hate death. So freaking annoying. Oh, 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 look, look, uh, bombs from the sky. I wonder who it could be. Oh, no one anymore. Thank goodness for that. Freeing the runestone requires three switches. Ah, that's what I forgot last time I played this level. Right. Jeez, do not mess with me right now. Please, thank you. I'm not in the mood. Alright, that's second switch. Now I just need one more. Yeah. 
There it is. That's the third one. Now to get the rune stone. If I knew the right way to go, that'd be awesome. There it is. There it is. Look at it. Look how beautiful it is. Look how colorful. I just love that mix. This is one of the 13 rune stones to help restore order to my tower. Return when you can. Like, take a breath. I mean, obviously it was a mistake when they were editing the sound together. Or when in recording, I don't know. I don't know when the issue happened. All I know is that it did, because that's what we have. All right, now I'm level 43. Where, where is it? There it is, 44. One more level and I get, what do I get? I think I get a new outfit or a new bird or both. I think I get a new bird. I think, I'm not entirely sure, but I think. Oh wait, there is a secret somewhere around here. At the start of the twisty climb, there is a secret. Or maybe that's what I got already? Maybe, I don't, I don't know. I'm gonna go ahead and say I already got it. That, that was, the switch was the secret. Wait, wait, whoa, 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 what's that down there? How do I get it? That right down there, how do I get it? To the right. What is it? What is it? I don't, what is it? What is it? What is it? Uh, what's the precious? Okay, uh, my golem impersonation is horrible. How do I get it? What's it connected to? Is it connected to anything? Uh, it's kind of close to down there, but I don't see an elevator or anything to get to it. Like, how do I get to it? I just want to know how to get it. How do I get that down there? Do I need it? Is it important? Is there an obelisk? I already got the runestone. I mean, what is it? Oh, oh, there's another one. All these secrets, how do I get to them? I think what I need to do is find one switch and then work backwards. Like, I think the platforms elevate, but I have to find the switches to elevate them. I think that's what I have to do. I'm not entirely sure. I, I just, I think that's what I have to do. Okay, well, not what I wanted to do, but hey, it worked. Alright, now where's the switch to start it off? Oh, nice. Just, you know, run right into the poison cloud. Whatever. Alright, can I get a camera fix here? Sheesh. Alright, I got it. I think that did it. Here we go. Uh, Tarkana's scroll is buried in a spire. Its flame will singe the coldest beast. Uh, Alright, so that's what I need to defeat the, the thing I'm about. The ice boss. So is that what I'm getting now? Actually, wait. Let me activate all the switches, just in case. Just in case. Just in case I need to. OK, 
Okay. All right. So let's go get those things. So I will admit, this soundtrack is pretty cool. Pretty cool. Ooh. Oh, what's this? Is this what I need? Um, I can't get it. What is it? Uh, is this a glitch? Why can I not get this? Hmm. Also, this is still lowered. So, what am I missing here? Oh. There we go. Oh, pff, come on. I found the flame of Tarkana. Cool, man. Coo, coo, coo. And that's the, that's the level, right? Like, I'm good. I'm good to go. No? Yes. I done beat the level. Nice. Almost deleted my perfect dark file, and that would have killed me. Uh, do you have any idea how much time I put into perfect dark on the Nintendo 64? You have no idea how much time I put into that game. If I would have, if I would have deleted this file, my childhood would have been like obliterated, and I would have felt so violated. Like I would have felt like I, ugh, just wow. That almost happened. God, but thank goodness the makers of this game made it so that you could not overwrite a save file from this menu. Ugh. Ugh. Sorry, that just... That was like a near-death experience right there. Like, I am not lying. I saw my perfect dark life like flash before my eyes like i saw beginning to end like the first time i picked it up up until like all the matches that i did all the hours i put into it which i put a lot of time into that game you you don't you don't even know i should show it i should play perfect dark and just show how much time i put into that how much stuff is on that save file is ridiculous like ridiculous i got up to rank two in the multiplayer. You know how long it takes to get to rank 2? Do you, do you know? A long time. A really, really long time. I put so many hours into... Oh, my... God. Just... Okay. Alright, I'm... I'm calling it good. We're, we're doing this. Ugh. That's it for this episode. Um, <laughs> ugh. I'm going to stream uh, something else. I'll probably pay, play Battlefront, actually. Might be playing some of that. So uh, I'm going to cut this off, move over to that, and I uh, hope you all enjoyed this episode. Finally got through that one level. And I, I do want to get through the rest of this game. 
Uh, yes, I do want to get through the rest of this game. So we will do that. But for now, taking a break. So thanks for watching, everybody. Thanks for joining. Definitely appreciated it. And uh, I'll see y'all later. Adios.